Hey team, so how do you motivate yourself to run when it's cold? This is the topic I wanted to make uh, for the start of the week. I know a lot of you out there are dealing with uh, definitely cooler temperatures. Um, I just want to let you know I have I spent several years training in extreme temperatures in Colorado Springs. Uh, I lived out there for about seven years and grew up in Ohio and now live in Indiana. So I fully understand the complexities of trying to run, doing tempo runs, doing long runs. Um, trying to do speed workouts when there's ice and there's snow on the track and you're, you're dealing with high winds. My, my recommendations to all of you who are trying to deal with um, trying to stay motivated uh, in, in cold weather is to remember what you're, what you're preparing yourself for. You know, you, you're not going after something that's easy. So you're going to have to make sure that you implement tactics and strategies that really will get you out the door and most of the time it's you know recommendations is to write down what you're going after what maybe you're trying to go after boston marathon marathon qualifying standard maybe you're trying to uh drop five minutes off your 5k time or 10 10 10 k time whatever it is you have to make sure that that goal that you have in mind is what's going to maintain your enthusiasm despite what the comp what the weather's like outside what you're dealing with so in terms of the question how do you motivate yourself to run when it's cold think back to the times when you were competing and you got a new personal best or you ran at a, at a very high level and think about that excitement and just know that when you're training in the cold weather it's only going to be a, for a matter of a few months see so you know there's there's other options definitely out there uh training with the group is is key uh being around athletes that are better than you is absolutely vital if you have that that luxury but if not you are at the end of the day you're the one that's going to decide if you're going after an average result a good result or a superior result and excellence demands that we go after what we want regardless of what the conditions are like so if you're dealing with motivation issues okay uh you know i all I can say is you have to maintain your enthusiasm and not let setbacks in bad weather and um, to, to, to get you down. And all, also make sure that you don't feel like getting on a treadmill or going indoors, maybe riding an hour to an hour and a half on a stationary bike or, or getting on the elliptical is any less of a workout as going outside. Okay. Now, sometimes, yes, you definitely have to deal with um, high winds. Uh, high altitude if you're living out in the western states here in the states anyways uh, or in other parts of the world that are that are in cold uh, conditions maybe you're in Norway maybe um, you, you know you're in cold, cold weather conditions that that are gonna really test you so you got to the way I would the way I dealt with it over the years is I always remind myself what what is it that I want to do and how badly do I want success and I use that that motivation to get out the door regardless what the weather conditions were like because I knew my competition was going to do it as well. So let that, you know, in terms of how do you motivate yourself to, to run when it's cold, think back, you know, remind yourself that your competition more than likely, the, especially the competition that is going to be competing at a very high level, will be getting out the door, will be doing track workouts even if there's snow on the track, uh, will be shoveling the track uh, if there's ice and, and a mixture of ice and snow on the track. I did, I did that several years, several times over the years myself, and I can promise you that uh, there are athletes such as myself that are out there that will be putting in the work when you're thinking about, I don't know if I really want to get out the door and do this. Uh, the weather really is just not cooperating today. You know, sometimes you're going to have to suck it up and just deal with the, what, you, what you've been dealt with. Okay, If you're in a climate that is not conducive to fast tempo runs and fast workouts then don't feel like you're any less of an athlete if you jump on a treadmill and decide to do a, a, a tempo run on the treadmill sometimes you have to do that okay if it's blizzard conditions out if they're the roads are nothing but ice okay it's just a smarter move on your part to get on the treadmill or to get on elliptical or get on a stationary bike or get in the deep end of a swimming pool and do pole running without a doubt pole running is probably the best workout alternative if you're if you if you're dealing with very cold temperatures 
and you, if you have access to it, get in the deep end of a pool and don't wear a flotation device. And, and Or you can wear a flotation device. It makes it a lot easier, especially if you're doing a long run. Just focus on running. You know, The, the water pressure is going to really uh, make it a great workout. And it's very close to running outdoors as well. Okay, if you're not, if you choose not to wear the flotation device, it's going to be extremely hard because again, you have to pump your arms and pump your legs, and it's just like running outdoors. Except there's no. What I love about it is there's no uh, stress on the joints, no, you know, no impact on on your ligaments or tendons, and you still get a workout very similar to running outdoors. So, uh, yeah, it, it it is definitely tough. Uh, you know, the people that are asking, how do you motivate yourself to run when it's cold? It's a legitimate question because we all have ups and downs. We all have fluctuations in terms of our, our motivation. There's days where you're just not going to feel like getting out the door and doing it again. Okay. But how badly do you want it? Again, or we have to ask ourselves, are we seeking average results, good results, or excellent superior results? Okay. Excellence demands far more out of us than we realize. We want, we all want great results. We all want to, to see, uh, the fruit, you know, our, our hard work to pay off. Okay. But as I preach all the time, it's much better to work smart rather than to work hard. And, and, and a lot of times the, the hardest working athletes, hardest working people are the ones that aren't necessarily following the best philosophy. Okay. If you're working your tail off and you're living paycheck to paycheck, aren't there other alternatives to make more money? why you sleep. Yes, there are, but most of us have only been taught one way. Trade life for a paycheck. And there's nece- there's definitely not necessarily anything wrong with that. But it's just an example of working hard and working smart. Okay? It's much funner when you're earning income when you're sleeping rather than when you are having to continue to work hard over and over again starting over every single day. It's the same with marathon training, it's the same with running. If you're running high mileage and it's too slow, you're just building endurance. You're just building fat. You're you're definitely getting in great shape, but when so, when you have to line up against somebody that has done their homework in training and has run very very fast and has run extremely uh, aggressive in training and has run a higher percentage of their weekly mileage, closer to or below their goal race pace, then you're dealing with somebody that's truly dangerous. They've they've done a combination of aerobic running, but they've also run very strategic in in their preparation and they're very well versed in what it feels like to deal with very high amounts of lactic acid so you have to train smart and again that comes back to your motivation levels okay deal with the fact that you are going to have some ups and downs but make sure that those short-term goals those long-term goals that you have in mind are at the back or at the forefront of your mind okay because they're they're going to get you out the door the the fact that somebody else is out there getting ready and preparing and and willing to put in the work regardless if it's snowing regardless if it's a blizzard there regardless of you know even if there is really bad conditions out they're going to be putting in the work somewhere else so you had better as well so i hope this is helpful for you all in terms of how do you motivate yourself to run when it's cold uh make sure like i said uh not only you rely on your work ethic rely on uh, your your teammates if you have that and if you don't have athletes around you that are better than you or equal to or or slower than you just athletes that are around you that'll help you then think back to all those successes that you've had in the past and how you felt and and remind yourself okay that that is what I want I want to feel like that more often and I want to get more personal best and I want to make 2023 or if you're watching this in in a a future years down the road uh, I want to make next year's racing and training better than than I've ever been able to prepare in the past. So I hope this is helpful for you all. As like I said, I understand 100% what you all are dealing with too. Um, and I've dealt and I've trained heavily with my and, and I've trained heavily in very cold weather in all types of different uh, weather conditions over the years too. So again, motivation is what it, what counts. And uh, I hope this is helpful for you all. I wish you all the best and I'll talk to you in the next video.